AI video or called AI animate motion. This technology are heating up on image AI market recently. Almost all image AI companies are going toward this, moving their AI models from image to video. Well, that's why in my channel I cover most animation videos. And finally, Pika Labs 1.0 are accessible for my account. Basically, this waiting list I have queue, um, list two weeks ago. And before the Christmas holiday, I received another email from one good old image generator service. Well, not too old, just a year, but this year AI things have been moving so fast. Yes, the Leonardo, not DiCaprio, it's Leonardo AI. They have launched what they called image to motion feature. So just like stable video diffusion using image to video. And now Leonardo AI have such features in their website. Well, as both Leonardo AI and Stable Diffusion users, we know Leonardo AI is built on top of Stable Diffusion, and they train their custom model in their platform, so let's check it out if they did this, also for the Video Diffusion model, and the other one we are going to try out in this video. Yes, the version 3 of our lovely Animate Diff Motion model, you guys have asked about this in previous comment as I remember. And yes, we are going to test out this version along with version 2 for some side-by-side -side comparison. Without further ado, let's get started. So, here's the Pika Lab 1.0 new dashboard. When you type the URL pika.art, you can request access to join the waiting list here. As you explore the tab, you'll find some sample posts from user-generated uh, videos or their own generated showcase. Notice there are realistic styles and 3D anime styles. And right here, the My Library section shows videos from my account. Currently, my account is empty because it just gained access to Pika 1.0. This is my first time using it, and I'm trying it out with you guys. No hype, just purely raw footage. When you navigate to the control menu, you'll find camera controls such as pen left or right, tilt up or down rotation, and zoom in or out. These controls allow you to adjust the camera's movements in motion. You can also customize the prompts, seed number, and text consistency. Currently, I've set it to the default of 12, but you can increase it as needed. Now, I've uploaded an image generated from Stable Diffusion to transform it into a video animation. While waiting, I'm experimenting another generate video with text to video, trying to recreate Michael Jackson's iconic dance moves. Let's see if Pika Labs 1.0 can capture those signature moves and even recognize the outfit, like the iconic hat. While we wait for the results, let's take a look at some other showcase here. I particularly like this one. It resembles scenes from a 3D animated movie. You can modify regions, highlight specific areas, and edit with text prompt. Now let's try two modifications. Notice that the expanded canvas offers different dimensions and screen ratios, but the highlighted videos may not be expandable to full screen directly. Perhaps they will generate the aspect ratios as we explore the settings. Let's wait for the results. The first generation is complete for my image from Stable Diffusions. It depicts racing car motions, and the animation appears quite smooth. You can also extend it by adding 4 more seconds using the video duration settings. Uh, and just simply you click the enter button here. Uh, and one thing I don't like about the text prompt area is that once I click the submit button or the enter button, um, it does not clear the settings and the text prompts and the image settings. Everything are still in the text prompt area. It doesn't give you the UI indication that you have submit something. Okay, I submit this information already. And it's kind of awkward. Maybe they have to change this more user-friendly. And you can see the Michael Jackson moonwalk animation. The outfit is good, but the motion, it cannot recognize the moonwalk. Let's generate again, and then we can see this 3D animate movie scenes from this lady in the wild. Well, it's pretty. Actually, it's the same. Let's modify the motions again. Okay, modify regions, I should say. Let's square this face part right here. And then maybe we have to add some text prompts to modify these regions or... Yeah, let's modify these regions. Let's type something like sad face.
See if they can modify this prompt as a set face. And here is another example that we just click is the aspect ratios we changed to horizontal camera view. And yes, it's fully expanded to this aspect ratio as it is and using the original video scenes from their examples. Okay, so far so good for this Pika 1.0, a lot of improvement, although the moonwalk is still not able to produce. But the Michael Jackson's outfit on this one is pretty good. And the animations on objects, between objects, two objects, is very solid. It doesn't look like twisting around like the previous versions in Discord servers they did. And yeah, look at the sports car is just going that directions. And this AI versions, they can detect this and doing the further duration of the motion. And let's click the Explorer I have. See, this one is pretty nice because they can add like 4 second and 4 second. Then this whole animations expand to 15 seconds. You see that the lake on the water, there's a duck swimming. And it's very consistent. You see that ducks is not like twisting their legs or the hat is twisted like previous version. And I've seen this one. It's pretty cool as well. Like a magic balls floating on the hands. It's adding like 4 seconds on there. It's totally 7 seconds. So guys, if you have access to the Pika Labs 1.0 in here, check it out. Their examples is pretty cool and you can get more inspiration from here. Uh, and let me try some stock image from pexels.com, like this romance image. And let's make it to image to videos. Okay. And in the meanwhile, we have some generated video completed. Another four second duration for my car racing scenes here. Yeah, looks nice. Motion created the road got more shiny on the side. Michael Jackson doesn't do good. And sad face, it looks like a monster. So let's change the prompts again. This sad face should be, let's make it like beautiful young lady and let it run again. And in the meanwhile, I like this kind of multicolored neo light grow like foreign reefer with sci-fi futuristic. It's pretty cool. Let's try to make something similar to this, okay? By trying out character recognition of Pika 1.0, let use the romance image just downloaded and do something like romance singing in the rain. And then this beautiful face, young lady in the wild regional prompts, yes, is fixed. The face, pretty nice. This one looks better than the previous modified region videos. It doesn't looks awkward now. Let's see the singing in the rain here. Okay, the singing in the rain is kind of weird. I like the first few moment. It does follow the image and then it adds some raindrop from the top. But then that two characters, it looks like it's getting lightning shock. The electric shock feel. Look at that. The guy and girl like shaking. Looks awkward. Let's give it one more chance. One more chance. Let's add some prompts as well like enhance the photorealistics and raw photos basically young couples dating and hugging yeah let's give in some actions and see if this videos can be improved okay so the multicolor leon light landscape view like with a sci-fi planet planet looks pretty cool like the camera view from the sky to the land For 3D animation styles, maybe we can do like futuristic cyberpunk car racing with heavy neon light style and submit. And again, the regenerate animation for the romance singing in the rain are still awkward. Sometimes it happened for image to video, especially for characters. Sometimes the body look awkward. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Wow, it looks better. And the forest, like the camera zoom from the sky and it looks better. Look at that, it's like getting some electronic electric shock on the male's character's body. Looks so awkward. I don't like this kind of stuff. Okay, the 3D anime style cyberpunk car is here. Looks good on objects for the Pika Labs AI model. And let's add more 4 seconds for this one and we can try another 4 seconds generated. Oh wow, look at that. That car is transforming, so the AI models get some creativities by itself. 
and look at that. The wings behind the car rear back is like transforming, and then the motion of it looks like accelerating faster. Let's add four more seconds and see how it goes, okay? So another one I just create with a sea water, like sea wave crashing against the lighthouse. And I type like God of Sea, Poseidon waving up the water, but it doesn't display the characters. So let's generate again and make it simpler. Let's say like Poseidon waiting up the water and sea wave crashing against the cities. And here it goes. It's like the cartoon or the 3D animate styles compared with this one. And this one, this kind of like a cartoon styles. And I have not defined the styles in text prompt. So this is purely letting the creativities from the Pika Labs 1.0 engine and this is the final editing, like 12 seconds for this cyberpunk car racing scenes. And wow, it looks so cool. Right after the transformation from the rear, the wing is open up and it went fast, okay? Okay, so this is like the IMG to video from my stable diffusion car racing image. Now let's try the Leonardo AI. Check it out. See how they do. So Leonardo AI, they have the new features called motions. So here's a pop-up showing how to use this motion, but basically it's very easy. So they have that button right on top of when you lock into the dashboard, you got the motions, but then we can use existing image. Just click the animate button on here. So generate motions videos like this when you hop over to your existing image and you can generate animate videos. So let's try this one, the robot. So you have motion strength when you click the image to motions and visibility private or public. And of course, if you're a pay member, you got the features enabled for private asset of your creativities. And then basically it's very simple. There's nothing to configure for this one. The motion string is the most configurable features for you to edit the image to motions videos in here. So let's click submit and wait and see our result. So here's the result, robotic, like the 5G robotic image that I created previously. And then the motion is like flying on the air. The robot is flying on the air when you hop over and then you can click the check mark. It can regenerate on top on the control panel. Okay, so let's try the other image, like a good one from their examples. Let's see this one, the witch. And then we can just simply generate and it pops up. Say that, okay? It's AI generate page and bring it to you. And there you have it, like a witchcraft, ladies. And then there's some motions coming, zooming into the characters, but then the body is kind of twisted and from skinny to fat. And I'm not sure if this is like a good one. Let's try another one. Okay, this is like a space. The space, but then the planet, the star, and then the planet is kind of transformed into like a water bubbles and then sticking together, flying on the air. I don't know. It doesn't really look like what I expect, and I think Leonardo AI motion need improvement. All right, so I think that's all for the Leonardo AI. Let's try the Animate Diff version 3 motion models. So in here, I create a very simple text to animate workflow using two Animate Diff groups. Here, one is for version 2, and the one above is for version 3. And then for the version 3, you can download it also in the hugging phase, the same link as the Animate Dev version 2. And I will put that link in the video description, maybe in our website articles. You can click there and see all the details right there. And version 3, Anime Diff model is right here. They got four models released actually. And this time I'm testing the version 3 SD15. And the other three, I will test it in the future videos. And let's click Generate. And this is very iconic example from animated purple flowers. And then the lady look at the camera's motions. Now this is the version 2 animate diff. And then let's line up together. And here's the version 3 on the left and version 2 on the right. And as you can see, there's, yeah, the version 3, obviously it looks better than version 2. The face is more my preferred style. And I'm using this Majestic Mix Realistic version 7. Uh, models, let's try the Photons version 1. And let's bring the VIA loading up and let's try it again. 
So in the meanwhile, let's check out their animate diff custom node extension or the GitHub page. And right here they have know that December 6, they have huge updates for animated custom notes here, massive rewrite of the code as they mentioned, and then the motions model catching. They have enabled this kind of caching features to speed up the sampling time, not guarantee on improvement in generate tough. Might take some investigation to figure out why V2 model looks weird with LCM. Okay, so sometimes their V2 model looks weird like on the character face and the element is twisted like a normal form in using some LCM models. Yes, I have realized that as well when I test LCM here. So yeah, let's wait for the new generation in our comfy UI demos here, right? So as you can see, two videos animation is generated and here's the free V3 and the version two. Both is very similar, but the V3, it got more like cinematic styles. And then the Hellhound is kind of like, look more details on version three, of course, but version two, the motion is very consistent. Like one shot is taking. It feels like one shot ticking of a Hellhound who's like walking in toward the urban cities and then the tails with fires. Okay. And then this is an other examples of what I tried testing with version three with compare version two. And as you can see that maybe the prom structure version three is a little different. The version two is what I expected, like a rabbit in the forens, and then like a Marco shot camera zoom into the rabbit. But then the version three is kind of awkward. It's like a flowers. And then the rabbit hat is appear in the middle of the flowers. And as you can see, the text prompts I wrote on here. Maybe this time the version 3 does not realize, recognize what I'm trying to instruct. Okay, let's try some simpler, simple text prompts here, like an off-road car, and see how it goes. Maybe we shouldn't like getting too high expectation for some new model sometimes. So, yeah, let's try it out. So, uh, yeah, let's try it out. Okay, so here's the 4x4 truck off-road scenes. And for V3, there's more detail on the sky, actually. And V2 is something that I expected, like the motions of the car driving off-road is, well, it is really based on your preference, like what kind of motions you want. If you want more details on the side row, and I prefer, of course, V3, but if you want the consistently motions, I think V2 is the winner. And lastly, let's try our video's dance animations workflow here. Our flicker free LCM animated workflow. So here I load up a dance videos for the source input. And then we have the line art loaded up. And uh, one more thing I need to mention about this workflow or the control net problems here is that the best result you want to generate with AI backgrounds or your character outfit change, I mean the best result, you should find some video source that is solid background color or just no background at all. Just like how the movie is producing. Like the 3D movies producing, they are usually using the green backgrounds and then the character is like dancing like a monkey in the front. And then after generate, then you add the 3D motions and then this is how it does a better result. So here's what my result is. As you can see that the video source doesn't have any backgrounds elements. And then I allow the AI to create the AI backgrounds by itself by leveraging the IP adapter. And here is how it looks. And both are generated by V3. The left is without face change and the right video player is after face change, face swap results. So for anime diff like LCM videos to videos V3 can do well. So yeah, that is it for today's tutorial or videos about new AI videos models that just came out. Yeah, it's pretty good. I hope you guys like it and try it out. Pickle Labs 1.0 if you have a chance. Okay? So I will see you guys in the next video. Maybe that will be after New Year or maybe before the New Year Eve. So in here, I would say Happy New Year. Good luck on 2024. Talk soon. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye.